Hello, I'm James Abella and I'm introducing Tan Raspberry Pi Lesson Ideas. My Twitter ID is at EaselWeb. The first lesson I'd like to introduce is ID the Parts. It's a great starter. It gives students an understanding of what is inside a computer and they then get to label a picture. This only requires one Raspberry Pi and it takes about 10 minutes. The second one is Wire It Up similar to the first task but it helps students to understand cables and computer parts it stops you risking expensive PCs and it's a very kinesthetic task it's a short task and it can be done throughout the lesson if you haven't got enough pies for everybody it takes about 10 minutes it's a kinesthetic task and ideally you could do with a class set This one's called Deck of Operating Systems. Have a look at the picture to the left, you should be able to identify three operating systems. Nice little challenge for some of your more gifted and talented students. Prepare several SD cards with different flavors of Linux and a couple of other operating systems and then they'll be have the chance to really compare operating system systems and see what they do. Show the presentation. Encourage students to compare the operating systems based on speed, reliability, ease of use and a few other criteria. The full lesson guide is available at the test. Ideally have a class set but if you've got three to four pies enough to enable comparisons. The next one is Scratch Me. The Raspberry Pi is great for programming but if you have a lab set you don't necessarily need to use the Pi for the programming. What you can do is say you're going to set the pipe as a kiosk maybe in somewhere like reception and students are going to program that. Um, Scratch is a great little beginner language and something that works really well on the Pi. And then you've got Python for the more advanced programmers. Great little starter and you only need ra one Raspberry Pi for this. Bringing back the tech to designing technology. One of the nice things about the Raspberry Pi is it's an embedded chip, so perhaps they could design a realistic MP3 player and design an interface for that MP3 player. An arcade cabinet. The full instructions are on my blog, but I think an arcade cabinet is a great idea for a terms project. It gives them something to get really excited about and play with. School kiosk project. Get them to create a kiosk for the school reception, maps and useful information. Once upon a time this would have cost about £3,000, but with some creative buying on eBay, I reckon you can do it for less than 100 These are great design and tech projects, and they're also highly kinesthetic. The Raspberry Pi is great at networking. Um, it's got Linux built in, which is ideal for the purpose. You could save yourself an absolute fortune on the Cisco CCNA course because you don't have to invest in lots of different computers, you just need a Raspberry Pi or three. The other nice thing of course is that this is true of the BTEC courses and, and other networking courses too. It's also great as a movie player, you can set it up as a home media server and it's got full 1080 playback so students can get something that's actually really useful. It's also a very nice web server. I've noticed on Twitter lots of people claiming how long their web servers have survived. And also think about the possibility of having webcams around the school and also such things as climate stations. And of course they don't mess with the school's main network so it gives students a really good opportunity to practice without messing things up. Ten ideas, one great pie. What I would like to stress is that nearly all of these ideas are almost straight out of the box. So these are things you could do right now if you had a Raspberry Pi. I've also tried very hard to include ideas that require one or two Raspberry Pis or could be done with small classes. But I would like to stress that with so much great software, operating systems and other things in development at the moment, this really is only the beginning. <laughs>